Bakkada. Bakkada. What is this? They look really good, don't they? They smell fantastic. Hello, my friend. Fish balls, pork, a bit of veg. So I'm just going to try that broth. All right, good morning, Selamat Pagi. Welcome to Malaysia. Right now we are in a little city called Taiping on Peninsula Malaysia's west coast. And we are so excited to be here. Really cannot wait to explore. This is our first time in Malaysia. So everything is new to us. The food, the people. It looks so good. So far, the people have been extremely friendly. We got here yesterday, we came from Thailand, we came from Hat Yai in Thailand. So we got a train across the border and then we had to get a train to Bukit Murthajam and then another train to Taiping and it was incredibly easy, it was the easiest border crossing I've ever done. So we're just super excited to be here, we can't wait to eat our way around this country because I know Malaysians love the food, so that's heaven for us. And yeah, Taiping so far looks beautiful. So. Let's go and explore, let's get a good first impression of Malaysia. Hey, look at this, we've got the iconic Taiping clock tower in the middle of the city, really cool. And then we've also got, I just spotted this, a good old red British phone box. Look at this absolute classic. We don't have a phone in here, but is it even open? It's like short, it's like wood. How cool is that? There's so many cool buildings in this city, honestly, it's well cool. Proper cool to just walk around. Really liking it. Again, look at some of these old buildings we've got. They're so smart. And then here I've just noticed we've got the Malaysian flag. Really nice flag, isn't it? And then next to it, I think it's the Perak flag, which is the state of Malaysia that Taiping is in. And Taiping's a proper historical little city. It used to be the capital of Perak, but now it's Ipoh, it's not here, so. Just a bit of a fact for you. And while we're at that, Taiping is the rainiest, the wettest place in the peninsula of Malaysia. And let me tell you, it's hot and humid. It's super humid here. It's really, really sticky. But yeah, enough of that. Let's, um, let's explore. All right then, here we go. This is our first proper meal here in Malaysia. Now I have got a bowl of curry mee like a coconut milk based curry noodle soup dish it looks absolutely fantastic look at the broth it smells so good so here we've got little shrimpies we've got i believe tofu we've got green beans we've got the thick they're like wheat noodles it looks really good so i'm just going to try that broth while it's fresh it smells so good it smells really coconut here oh that's delicious and it's got me in the throat it's got a nice kick to it that's really delicious that it's not super thick you know it's quite a thin broth oh that's really good that is delicious so we'll dig into this in a second but what have you got leash so i've got fish noodles so i've got wide rice noodles and then look at those chunks of fish so we've got like big chunks of boiled fish in there, haven't we? Big white fish and then some vegetables. It looks delicious. It looks so good. The broth tastes like super clean. Good. Like a really, really nice clean broth. I've got some of this fish sauce in. And Alicia has got the absolute classic tetari, the classic tea. And I've just got a, it's like a sweet coffee with condensed milk, I believe. Oh, missed me mouth. Which is really good. It's really good. And this was, I think this was 20 ringgit for everything. Which is like three pound 50 or something, I don't know. So yeah. All right, so just look at that. Oh, I nearly poured the broth on the table. Let's just give some of these bits a try. Let's try this tofu in here. Let's give it a big dip in the broth. This is, everything's just so hot, so fresh. Mmm. Yeah. It's absorbed all that broth. Let's try a little prawn. Mmm. Just little small guys in there. This is really good. Let's try the noodles. Because I like the thick wheat noodles that we've had 
only a handful of times before and it slipped there. so thick. The star of the show is this broth. It's really delicious. Ah, really delicious. Mm. I've just got to say, I've just tried leeches and the fish is absolutely delicious. That is a really good noodle soup, man. It's, it's just super fresh and light and clean. It's like the opposite of mine. Mm. The fish is fantastic. That boiled fish. Really good. This is well good. Again, so excited to be here in Malaysia. So excited to be eating all this new food. We've got so much stuff to try that we've never had before. Really, really can't wait. Really, really good little spot. This super busy, just full of Chinese people eating. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Really good little spot. And we got the OK restaurant somewhere. Well good. Really filling as well, it was really filling. Those wheat noodles are super filling. And my dish was really interesting, the curry me, the curry noodles. It was almost like, the only thing I could compare it to would be a cow soy in Thailand, but even then it's not, not like that similar. But it was really good. So what we'll do now is we'll just go and explore more. We'll just walk the streets of Malaysia, the streets of Thai Ping, see what's going on. Right, so far in Malaysia, everyone has been super friendly. We got here late afternoon yesterday we met so many kind people so many people were coming up to us just to have just a genuine nice chat the people seem really friendly so it's off to a very good start honestly i'm very excited to be here if i haven't said everything's new to us obviously we don't speak malay we need to learn a bit of malay we will be doing that but yeah it's the best when everything's just new to you and what have we got here we've got some sort of strange shop selling ducks Hello. What have they got here? They got some ducks. How cute are they? Oh wow, you've got geese. Wow. They've got geese as well. What are these for? For the restaurant? It smells. What am I gonna say? It smells very strong in there. You can smell all the, uh, the bloody poultry. They're looking at me like, what the hell is this foreigner doing? <laughs> So also Thai thing, we've not seen any other foreigners here yet, I think. Oh look at this, this is nice, isn't it? There's a lot of big open areas, it's really strange. I think it's just because everything's new. But what I was saying was there's not there's pretty much no foreigners here and I think everyone who comes to this coast of Malaysia just goes to like Kuala Lumpur or Ipoh or you know those bigger places and they don't they just kinda neglect smaller places like this but we love these type of places and I can tell so far that it is going to be really good. So let's have a look. I think the local market's down here, maybe we'll check it out. Here we go, we smelt them out, we smelt these bad boys, We've seen the durian, the mother lord. They look really good, don't they? They smell fantastic. Hello my friend. They smell really good. Yes. It smells delicious. We'll come back. We'll be getting some of these. Look at them all hanging. Like Christmas tree decorations. <laughs> Everyone's really nice and smiling. Yeah, Malaysia has, supposedly has delicious durian, so really excited for that. Let's check out the market. I think this is a big typing fresh wet market, whatever. Hello. And then down here is actually a Ramadan bazaar in the night time. So stay tuned because we'll make a video checking that out probably tonight <laughs> yeah here we go it looks like a multi-story car park back in the UK but this is the type thing fresh market I think so we'll just take a look because everyone knows it's what you've got to do when you get to a new country or a new place you just got to check out the market we are a bit late so it's probably not as busy but it still looks like there's a lot going on in here what is that, what is that? hello so everything's just so new to us. Oh, what is it? Is it lotus? Uh, this one is uh, you can eat. Eat, eat. Oh, eat, you can eat it. Ah, oh, you can eat it. Oh, okay. This one is 
one is flower goes maya. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll just have a look around. Well, they've got all kinds. Of, they've got these baby little pineapples. How good do they look? And then we've actually got like a, it looks like an old Chinese medicine shop here, which is really cool. You in the big tins? Loads of fresh fruit, mangoes, guavas. It's just like a big market hall. Like an old school market hall though. Look at the walls over there. It's got the market smell to it. It just like feels like a really old market. Like look at these bloody steps. With the towels on. The good old towels. Hello, hello. Just loads of fresh fruit. Loads of fresh fruit actually. They've got all kinds of good stuff. They've got lemons, avocados, kiwis, pears. Apples, oranges, got it all. They're yeah, really cool in here. So all the fruit here, our mate tells us, is from Malaysia. Yeah. Apart from what was from Thailand, the mangoes are from Thailand, but mango Thailand, mango Thailand, but everything else Malaysia, all Malaysia. This part, all all Malaysia. All Malaysia. And yeah, I think this is sour soap. I think we have we just had it. I think we've had it in Colombia before, like blended in a drink, but that's it. So yeah, okay. Okay. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. Nice little guy. Yes, we found a good-looking street snack here. We'll have a look at this. We'll see what's going on. Our mate's selling it to some interesting goods. Hello, my friend. What what is this you have? What do you want? What 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 is this? It's all mix. Mix. Oh yeah, all mix. How much is it? One fifty. One fifty ringgit. It's delicious. Tasty, tasty. Mm. It's just a big mix of all kinds of okay, stuff, isn't it? Bakada. Bakada. What is this? Fish. This fish? Yeah, fish. Yes. What is that? What is it, fish? Mmm. Mmm. There's 150 for just a mixed bag of all this stuff. Which all I can compare it to is, um, Bombay mix that we have in England. 150 a bag. Oh, there's two 20s that are the same. Thank you, thank you. That's confusing. There's this 20 and there's a big silver one. We're still going to our heads around the money. Yeah. Malaysia are on the Malaysian ringgit now. And one pound is five and a half ringgit. One British pound. I don't know what you just gave us, but it's really nice. Mm. And that's like, that's like 30p for a bag. So we've just got various different crunchy bits in there. We've got peanuts, we've got peas, salt. It's a little snack. And then here we go, we've got some more of these super old Chinese buildings here. Really cool. So we're hungry again, so we're gonna head and try and get some more like super classic food. That is the plan. There's a big food centre down here, like a hawker centre. Right, we've come to the big hawker centre, like the big food court in the centre of Taiping. And this place is always super busy. I'm just going to show you around. It's full. Now this is the Chinese section. The other side is like the Muslim food section. And yeah, you can see it's just packed. They've got all kinds of stuff in here. But we've come to this legend and I've got my very first Cho Koi Tiao, which is like a... Chinese stir-fried noodle dish. We've got fish balls, pork, a bit of veg. Actually looks really delicious. And we've also got some of these, what are these little like chilies to throw in? So yeah, this guy is absolutely rapid, he's really busy now. He's so fast on that one. Yeah, no time for chit-chatting here. So let's give this a go. Let's try and get a bit of everything. Let's get some of these noodles. Really loud in here as well. Let's go for those. Let's get some of the pork. Mm. It's tasty, it's really hearty. The pork tastes a little bit sweet. Mm. It's actually really, oh, there is a little bit sweet. That's really good. 
noodles are nice and soft. Saucy, they taste like, you can taste the, the char from the wok, you can taste it. And we got the fish bowl. Mm. That's all right, them fish bowls. Not too bad, they're like spongy. But the noodles themselves are actually really tasty. It's like comfort food. Mm. And this plate is six ringgit. Is it six ringgit? Yeah, it's six ringgit, which is just over one pound. So that's a well good price, isn't it? And then what's this in here? I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. What is that? It's delicious either way. And then we've also got the crunchy veg. Oh, and we've got normal pork. Not bad at all. And I'm guessing that'll be pretty filling. You can feel it, you can tell it used to be like a well, this was a proper industrial tin town, like a big industry town. And yeah, it's got that feel. Look at this building though, what's this? So cool. I think it's different just because all the streets seem really, really wide and it just seems weird because there's a lot more cars, you know, and less bikes than what we usually used to. So it's, it just feels different for us. I don't know, it's just, it's just got a completely different feel. We just spotted a bloke here on the street selling some sort of drink. So we'll check it out and see what he's got. Quite a lot of traffic knocking around here. Let's have a look, see what he's got. I don't know what this is. Hello, hello. Ah, what, what is this? Soy ah, so, Oh, it's soy milk. Oh, I don't fancy that, do you? Okay, thank you. Don't fancy a soy milk right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, we've got a beautiful little Chinese temple. I'm trying not to get run over it, I'm just constantly walking in the middle of the road. And on the other side of the street we've also got like a Kopi Tiam, which I believe are like the traditional like coffee houses, like food houses, like Chinese spots where you can get your coffee tea. Then you like um, various different Chinese dishes. Looks like a proper classic spot in there, doesn't it? I'm loving it, it's really cool walking around. Got another Malaysia flag here. What's this? Pusat Makanan Chinatown, like another food court. A smaller food court. There's so much food everywhere. Honestly, foodie paradise again. Southeast Asia, some of the greatest food on the planet. There's, there's no denying it. Look at this we've come across. This is a really cool shop selling these like Chinese temple houses. Look how beautiful some of these are. Look at the orange one. Well nice, and the yellow one. They're always just so colourful, aren't they? Look at the detail. And dragons on the top. Well nice, well bright. Look at that, all of them. Just walking around Taiping, it's super cool. We've got some proper old school looking streets, like back alleys you can go down. We've got the old cars, there's loads of like retro cars, nothing about like proper old bangers. It's really nice to walk around when it's not hot. A big when it's not hot. Busted. Look at what we've come across. Look at the size of these bad boys. Are these jackfruit? Or, no, these are these jumpadak? Let us know. Big boys, them, aren't they? Tell you what, the residential areas around Taiping are well nice. This is just like a, yeah, just a quiet residential area where people live, but it's really nice to be fair. I'm just gonna show you this one. We're just walking down the street and look at these. This man's got loads of ducks hanging. This Chinese block here, look at these. They'll be tasty, won't they? Hello, how are you? They'll be well good, won't they? 
but it's honestly some of these streets are really cool like it's the back alleys like down here here we go we've got another food court there are so many food courts in Taiping and I'm guessing in Malaysia and I absolutely love that so yeah you've got so much choice to eat look at some of the dishes so we've got like loads of Chinese dishes here I have no idea what anything is still but yeah it looks like a decent little food court, a smaller one, but it looks really good, to be fair. And like, no matter what time of the day you go, different things are open. It's really good, that. There's so many of them. Yeah. Really good. Now we're heading to the lake gardens down here. Oh, and then even more food. Look at this one. We've got like another big food court, which is again, we've got loads of Chinese stuff, but then there's also like... I think Malay food, we've got some clay pot rice there. It sounds really interesting. Right then, we've just got to the Taiping Lake Gardens and this place is absolutely incredible. It's so beautiful, honestly. Now, this used to be old tin mines back in the day. This park is the oldest park in Malaysia, dates back to British rule. And it's so nice, honestly. We can see the big, might we know the hill station, which is again, I think that the first and oldest in Malaysia. We've got a nice day, we can see today, it's so beautiful. So many beautiful birds in here, her herons, all kinds of wildlife. But look how beautiful it is. well nice so we're gonna take a walk around I think you can walk through it's absolutely massive I think I read it's like 150 football fields it's massive so let's have a look and then here we go I don't quite know what's going on here but it is going down absolute moves being busted there <laughs> we're gonna take a walk around is that what that is well they're going for it. Yeah, it's so beautiful, honestly. Just bang like in the middle of the city. It's crazy. It's like a different world. We've got all these swan pedalos there you can take out as well. That you can head out on the lake on them. I bet that's really nice. On a nice day, I think it's going to rain today, but I mean, it's the rainiest place in Malaysia. Hey, look at this one. Over there, we've got the Lakeview Hotel which is now absolutely abandoned. I bet back in the day that was beautiful. Looks really cool though, proper old Chinese hotel. And then down here, I think these trees are all over like 100 years old. You can see like stretching over the path and they've had to support them, I think, so they don't like fall down and block the whole path. These are epic trees. Look at this, you, you've got to, um, on the, you can fit under them. If you're my height, if you're a little bit taller though, just a little bit. No, I have to bend down as well. <laughs> How cool is this? It is well nice. This has got to be one of the most beautiful parks ever. So nice, so pristine. There's no litter, it's so clean. Hey, we've got some terrapins or something in here. You can't see it on the camera, but over there, there's a little guy uh, poking his... There's one here as well. Oh, he's, he's just gone, hasn't he? Where's he gone? You can see they've just got the little um, mouths above the water. What are they? Terrapins or some sort of creature like that. But how nice is this? Well nice place to come for a walk. You can rent bikes and cycle around as well. You can rent the pedalos. How beautiful is this? Well nice. Ah, so then all these trees in front of us, can you see that are like arching over these super beautiful trees? I'm guessing this is what they used to be like. And then they must have collapsed all the ones down there and that's why they've had to like bodge them back up. But how nice is this walkway? It's well nice. These trees are epic. Look how long they are. You can hear all the birds as well. 
We just walked under this Chinese bridge and we're going to take a walk through the park. And I've just seen this sign, it says welcome to the Taiping Heritage Trail. So this must be a stop on the Heritage Trail. It's well nice though, isn't it? Hello. Hello, how are you? So beautiful. So we'll just go for a wander through. This path takes you like straight through the middle of the Taiping Lake Gardens. And yeah, it's absolutely massive. There's loads of paths all over the shore. You can have a proper bloody day out here. And look at this part of the park. We've got all these lotus flowers. It's well nice. Look at them all bright pink. Got another little bridge. It's well nice. There's lots of flowers everywhere. When you see such beautiful things, it just makes you so grateful that you can see. Yeah, they've all come over, all of them, for some snacks. Not got anything though. Sorry, everyone. You're all coming straight. You're hungry, aren't you? You can have a leaf. Oh, I feel, I feel tight on these. They're, they're really hungry. Look at them. Really cute, aren't they? Look at this one. Hey, oh. <laughs> hey, look at this. It's like we've just landed back in England. We've got fish and chips and this little Chinese stuff. That's legendary stuff. Looks all right as well on the picture. Doesn't look too bad. I'd like to know if that's any good. Another food court. Malaysia, the land of food courts. And then look at this, we've just spotted across the road. Look at that for an old building. That's the greatest one I have seen in Taiping. Really impressive, that. Look at the views, it's like tropical here. Yeah? Well, nice. Now, look at how sick this building is. This is proper old school. Look at the round windows. I don't know what it is, it's obviously some old. Chinese business. Copy TM's like an old coffee shop there as well. Well cool. And yeah, you can see from here, so you can see around Taiping. It's one of them places where you've always got a view of the big mountains, so it's really beautiful. It is a really nice place, I've got to say it. I feel like we've got a wooden house there. Well cool. And there we go, there's the rain. I did say tapping was the rainiest place in all Malaysia, didn't I? Now, we didn't get up too much today, but we've had a really good first day in Malaysia. We've got a really good first impression of this country. We've met some really kind people. Everybody is seriously friendly. Honestly, we've had some amazing food as well. So we're really looking forward to the rest of this trip. Really looking forward to seeing what else Malaysia has to offer. It's going to be well good, I can tell. It's going to be really good. So yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the videos because we're going to explore as much as we can. So thanks for watching. See you later.